Aren't you coming back to the house, Lance? Oh, no, I should get going. I promised Emma I would stop by and see her before I met with Steve. <laughs> Ooh, Steve. No, no, it's, it's not like that. I just have a project to work on. Sure, whatever you say. <laughs> never seems to get better, but some of the girls and I went to get coffee, which is fun. And now you're here. I'm clearly the highlight of your day. Always. How are you doing? I can't really walk. The doctors said the same thing they've been saying for a while. It could really be any day now. You don't have to be so sad. I told you. I've already come to terms with it. No, it... It's not that. It's... Are all the thoughts back? Yeah. And the urges, too. They're getting... They're getting stronger, and I'm... Afraid I'll hurt someone. I told you, you should go talk to a doctor. They have medicine for that kind of thing. For being fucking crazy? For wanting to kill someone? They're just gonna lock me up, um. I did have another idea, though. What's that? You know how when we were in elementary, and we found that old necklace in your grandmother's attic and how after we found it we would go to that place like in our minds of course playing there saved me from boredom all through third grade well i've been thinking about how that place works and i think it's like a shared soul space that's a dumb name but it makes sense we always go through opposite doors into that room where we can change. What if our souls are leaving our bodies to go there? What if our bodies lead to those doors? What if we go into that room, the soul space, and we walk through each other's doors? You want to switch bodies? Why? My soul is sick, and your body is sick, and I can die in your body, taking my murderous impulses with me, and then you can live a normal life then. You'd rather die than just get some help? I'd rather die than risk never getting better and accidentally killing someone. If you haven't lived a normal life since, what, fifth grade? This can give you what you were robbed of, Em. Please. Okay. It'll be okay.
Um. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! It worked! <clears throat> hey, mm -hmm. hey, take it easy. Take it easy. My... Your heart condition flares up when you get excited. Thanks. I'll remember that. Your Steve asked if it was still okay to meet at six. Can you? You're me now, remember? Ooh. All right. I better get going then. Okay, so Stanislavski is systematic, Chekhov is physical, and Meisner is internal truth. Okay, Stanislavski, systematic, Chekhov, physical, Meisner, internal truth. Yeah, there you go. I'm surprised you're having so much trouble with this. You're doing great in class. I must have hit my head or something. <laughs> it, it's all a bit hazy at the moment. Like, it's all swirling around in there. Wow, that's very uh, philosophical of you. Anyway, uh, I think we should finish up this project. It is due Monday. Hey, you want to come back to my apartment? What? It's going to get dark soon. And like you said, we need to finish this presentation by today. Plus, my coffee's less overpriced. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Nice, uh... N nice place. It's roomy. Yeah. Um, could I use your, your bathroom? Yeah, it's down the hall to the left. Hey, Lens? I think you forgot to uh, empty your bathtub. Did I? Thing makes it hard to just be sorry. On the bright side, it's hurt so much I haven't felt the urges since yesterday. How's being a normal girl? Uh, about that, I think the urges stayed with your body. What? Well, I met with Steve last night, and I just couldn't control it. It's okay. It'll be okay. I've lived with this condition most of my life. I can show you how to hide it. Thanks. Maybe you can teach me? It takes some control, but you're strong. I know you are. No, no, no. I, I don't want to control it. What? I like the feeling. You know, the rush, the adrenaline. No, I need to learn how to hide it better. Emma, you're sick. Switch back with me. I know how to control it. Maybe it's not too late to get some help. So I could die pathetically in my bed? I'll pass. What are you doing? Uh, 
اما She's a sweet girl. I've known her most of my life. Good grades, honor roll, tons of community work. Like it or not, the body was at her house. I think asking her this way is better than the formal interrogation anyway. Kids respond better. Her best friend died, Charlie. Like, just yesterday, her best friend died. Fine. I guess you're right. Lindsay, right? Hey, Linz. It's me, Officer Harry. You remember me? Good, good. We just want to clear up some things that don't make a lot of sense, okay? You see, Steve Taylor was found dead last night, and he was found at your place. And I'm not pointing any fingers or anything because no one was home when it happened. Do you know where your parents are? Cut the shit, Lindsay. Did you or did you not kill Steve Taylor on the night of the 13th? We're, we're gonna have to speak to your parents, Lindsay. But in the meantime, you're gonna just have to spend a night in jail, okay?